Welcome to Power Query video number 12. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, we got a great Power Query trick here. Look at this. We have a region column, and our system always records West and Midwest as a condition or criteria for a particular record. And when we summarize, we only want West and East, meaning we need to combine these two. Now, of course, we could do some formula and say OR criteria here and a straight EAST here. But the advantage to Power Query is we will open up Power Query, build all the steps, and it will be automatic as long as we refresh. So when we add new records, we just click Refresh, and it will all update. All right, so I'm going to click in this table, and I've already converted it by Insert Table. And then I already went up and named it Call Table. So I have a single cell. Let's go to Power Query from Table. Or we can use the keyboard Alt Y1, Y7. That's a keyboard in 2013. All right, now I want to highlight the region column and check this out. We're going to go to Replace Values. And I'm going to find Midwest and replace it with West. Now, match entire cell contents. Our system is always going to have Midwest replaced in West. There's not going to be a problem, so I'm going to click OK. Instantly, it does a find and replace. Now, the 15 and 34, they're both for West, and we actually want them combined. So we're going to use group by. But if we said just group by region column, it would take the unique values and give us two values. I actually want the date the sales rep, and the east. So we're going to use the group by. So I'm going to click on group by. And we're going to start with date. And then I'm going to add. And I'm going to say employee. And finally, we're going to add a third condition, in essence, region. So what the group by, and you see this in Access and also here in Power Query, it's really a calculation with a condition or criteria. We have three of them, and we want a unique list. The new column will be Call Total. Tab, the calculation will be Sum. And the column we're going to do a calculation upon is Calls. So now with these three conditions is that it will give us a unique list, in essence. It will remove the duplicates where there are two regions. When I click OK, boom, there we go. Now we definitely want to change the type. And I'm going to go up to Data Type and say Date. Now I'm using the November update of uh, Power November 2014 Power Query update. So there's a problem with dates, and they said they'd fix it soon. But we'll import it as a date because that's what we need. We have our columns. I'm going to come over here and call this Final Table Tab. And now we can close and load to the sheet. Table. Existing Worksheet, click the Collapse button. I'm going to select H11 and click OK. Click Load. And there we have our table here. Now, let's go ahead and update this and check this out. Here's our new records. We're simply going to copy this. And notice that there are, when I copy, there are new regions here. Now, if we were trying to do this with the formula, remember originally I proposed, well, we could do an OR. But our, our formula might not have included any new regions. But Power Query will handle that no problem. I'm going to click in the cell A13, exactly the row below the last record, Control-V, and instantly that table feature is so amazing. Now we can come over here and right click Refresh. There's our query updating. 18 rows. And there's that error in the November 2014 Power Query. Oh, that's so annoying. I'm going to Control-1, Tab, Arrow, 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 and Enter. Still, hopefully they'll fix that soon, maybe in the December or January update. Now, I want to do Control-Home and take a look. If we look over here, our first 
data set went down and it was missing one record on the 10th. So when we got our, our record over here, notice the 10th of December, 22 for Mo for the Midwest. And check that out. Here's the 22 on the 10th. But the other Mo was up here in the first data set. And lo and behold, those two numbers add up to 56. So it is absolutely beautiful on how it updates. Not only that, but it got the new regions. I love it. You know, you could do something with formulas that would take into consideration all the known regions, but man, pivot tables, Power Query, things like that, the way they update, just amazing. Now we have one last thing we want to see in this video here. Remember, we have this uh, date error when we import new data and refresh. Watch this. This is a great workaround. We actually right click edit. We loaded using the close and load two. Well, watch this. If you have a connection, you don't have to load it. We loaded it to the table, but there's a connection in this workbook. You could just load it straight to a connection and watch this. I'm going to do this side by side so we can see. And I got this idea from Daniel Dion in a comment below one of the videos. This is just great. We go up to data, and of course, we have existing connections. There is our final table. I'm going to say open. There's a table we want it, existing worksheet M1, and click OK. Now, this table comes in as a date and time. I'm going to Control-1, Tab, Arrow, Arrow, Arrow to Date, and Enter. Now, this will only have to be done once. And then later when we update, let's go ahead and this is the original data source tab. And I'm going to add a record 12 slash 13, 500. And this was a new rep in a new region. All right, now I'm going to right click, refresh the first table. And boom, we get it without the formatting. There's that date formatting. Now right click, refresh in this table, boom. We don't have the same problem with our date. It is so awesome hanging out on our online Excel team. And man, Power Query is awesome. All right, we'll see you next trick.